Hi, welcome back to SolidWorks. Today we'll make this exercise in SolidWorks, and this is the tenth exercise in SolidWorks basic exercise uh, tutorial. Uh, I'll attach this file in description link for practice. Let's start the tutorial. First of all, I'll go to New, and I'll select Part and select OK. I'll change my background to plain white. I'll change my units to MMGS, and now I'll go to Front Plane, select Sketch, and I'll sketch this. Uh, uh, this cylinder and the dimension is 28 outer and 18 inner with the extrusion length of uh, 35 millimeters from the mid plane and let's draw this go to sketch tab select circle and uh, we'll make two circles go to smart dimension and uh, this dimension is 28 millimeters and the inner dimension is uh, 18 millimeters select ok go to features go to extruded boss and uh, let's change this to 35 millimeters and a very important thing is just uh, change this to a mid plane and select ok so the basic cylinder is done and uh, next thing is uh, we'll make uh, this uh, this cylinder and remember it is not in this uh, front plane it is in uh, it is uh, uh, at some uh, other plane that is right plane so we'll make uh, this and the dimension is uh, 9 millimeters inner and uh, 7.5 uh, which means uh, uh, 15 millimeters outer with the extrusion length of 19 millimeters from the mid plane so go back to part again and uh, first of all I'll change my background uh, I'll change my uh, plane to uh, let's say right plane select sketch and uh, select normal to view and let's sketch two circles one circle here and one circle here go to smart dimension and uh, let's change this dimension to uh, 15 millimeters and the inner dimension was uh, 9 millimeters and uh, this point and this point these these, t uh, these two points will be in one line so select this point and this point and uh, make vertical and a very important thing is the center to center distance which is 26 millimeters as you can as you can see from here it is highlighted uh, from the uh, light blue color so go back to part again go to sketch tab select smart dimension and uh, let's change it to 26 millimeters so sketch has turned into black which means it is fully defined and uh, go to features go to extruded boss just rotate my model and uh, change it to mid plane and change this dimension to 19 millimeters select ok so the basic two cylinders uh, we have uh, sketched and uh, next thing is uh, we have to make uh, this uh, extruded boss or this reinforcement or this uh, let's say this rib and the uh, let's say this uh, thickness is 5 millimeters so we'll go to uh, part again and uh, let's say select right plane select normal to view and uh, we'll make uh, this sketch and uh, let's say uh, this line and this uh, cylinder uh, will be tangent and uh, let's say we'll make a center line for uh, making uh, mirror S entities to mirror select this a mirror about select this line and select ok uh, another thing uh, is uh, here we'll apply this uh, convert entity command select convert entity select this circle and select ok and we don't need this portion so go to trim and trim this and select ok uh, another thing is uh, we have to complete this contour and uh, press escape 
right uh, here you will notice one thing uh, when i uh, when i will extrude this so it will uh, it will give me uh, some error let's go to extrude and uh, select this contour and uh, select mid plane and change this to let's say 5 mm that was the uh, thickness of the rib right select okay and uh, here is uh, uh, because this is cylinder and uh, this is flat surface and that's why it is showing some error right so I have to fix this let's uh, fix this go to sketch again and uh, go to normal to view and delete this and uh, uh, we'll make uh, another line below uh, this line and uh, the dimension will be let's say 0.5 millimeters and uh, let's uh, select this line and uh, this line and now uh, uh, this will be uh, fixed uh, this is fixed but here it is uh, showing some error because uh, uh, here I can use indent command and uh, go to insert uh, go to insert go to features go to indent and uh, let's select this and this and uh, make sure to check this cut box right and select ok so uh, this problem is fixed and uh, let's go to option let's go to uh, document properties go to image quality and uh, select this to some higher value and select ok so uh, uh, this rib or this uh, extrude feature is done now next thing is uh, uh, we have to apply uh, let's say this uh, extrude boss and uh, let's go to part again and uh, let's select uh, front plane now and uh, let's select a line select this point and this uh, circle make sure to uh, make them tangent and uh, select this line and remember uh, we'll make a line uh, 0.5 millimeters uh, above this line and uh, let's take this line and this point and we'll make them 0.5 right uh, we are doing this because this is cylinder and this will be flat surface and uh, it will give me uh, error and uh, I'll fix this by using intent command right and uh, now I have to uh, complete my sketch so select this line and this line and I'll make this by using convert entity select this circle and select ok and the and I'll uh, use trim command because I don't need this circle for the extrusion and the uh, next thing is uh, uh, it is uh, it is not uh, complete contour now it is uh, it is a complete contour right uh, let's go to features let's go to extruded boss and uh, let's select uh, mid plane right and select ok right so uh, this is done and here i can also use uh, indent command uh, but uh, i think it is fine no need to use indent command here and uh, let's say i have to make uh, this uh, feature uh, this rib or this extrude feature uh, to this uh, to this side here so no need to uh, sketch again and i use mirror feature go to features and uh, go to uh, this option and here we have this mirror option uh, first of all i select my plane and uh, let's say my plane will be right plane and let's select this feature and let's ok uh, so uh, we are done with this uh, basic exercise uh, now last thing is uh, 
we'll use uh, let's say uh, we'll use this uh, appearance and uh, let's change this appearance to some uh, bluish uh, bluish appearance and uh, this is fine select ok and uh, here we can uh, we can uh, verify our uh, our dimensions go to evaluate and uh, go to major and uh, let's say this uh, this dimension was 7.5 uh, millimeters uh, the radius and here it is showing that the radius is 7.5 right uh, also uh, this dimension was uh, let's say this dimension was 28 the outer and the inner was 18 so we can check this go to part again go to measure and uh, just make sure to clear uh, and uh, this dimension is uh, uh, 14 uh, here it is showing a uh, 14 uh, because uh, it is not a full circle so we know that uh, the diameter is uh, twice of radius in fact uh, radius is uh, twice of dia so it is 28 that is 14 into 2 and the inner one was uh, 18 millimeters just delete this and uh, this inner this inner radius was 18 millimeters right so uh, that's it for today's tutorial i hope you like it and uh, here uh, we have used uh, this indent command and it is a very uh, it is a very uh, rare command in solidworks and uh, so uh, uh, that's it for today's tutorial i hope you like it and please subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you